Hi guys, today we are going to discuss about a blood test called anti-mitochondrial antibody and anti-mitochondrial M2 antibody test. It is a test to detect immunological disorder to help diagnose primary valerie cholangitis. This test may use whether the anti-mitochondrial antibodies are present in the blood. Moderate or high level of AMA are strongly associated with primary valerie cholangitis. PBC is an autoimmune disorder that causes inflammation and scarring of the bile ducts inside the liver, causing continual liver damage and blockage of the bile flow. It is found mostly in women between the age group of 35 to 60. More than 90% of these affected by PBC will have high levels of anti-mitochondrial antibodies. Increased AMA levels are seen much less often in autoimmune hepatitis. Primary sclerizing cholangitis, liver disease due to chronic inflammatory bowel disease and bile duct obstruction. There are nine types of AMA. There are nine types of AMA. M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, M7, M8, M9 and so on. Of which M2 is the most clinically valuable. M2 antibodies target the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. There is an important enzyme called pyruvate dehydrase that plays an important role in metabolic activities in the liver. The presence of M2 type has been particularly evident in primary biliary cholangitis, while the other AMA types may be found in other conditions. In some laboratories, if testing for AMA is positive, then further test for the M2 subtype is performed. Some laboratories have started to offer AMA M2 test instead of AMA, which reduces the number of false positive from non M2 antibodies. The sample required is blood. Normally, it is negative. That's all for the today's test.